Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Leslie Workman. She's Pike County's Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Christy. Leslie, today you are going to talk to us about how we can be aware of our money spending habits. So, you know, in America, um, Money is one of the main reasons for um, divorce and uh, partner relation issues. Um, so it's really important that we understand maybe um, why we spend like we spend and the behaviors behind that. Yes, Leslie, what shapes our value system around spending? So there's really five or six really uh, different reasons why we spend like we spend. So one can be our personality. Are we a risk taker or are we risk averse? Um, the other thing is family. Uh, learned behavior really plays a part in the core of our personality. The next thing is personal experience. So whether we have had a positive supportive environment, um, academic success, um, and had, a good, had good positive role models, or we've had a negative environment that um, was more of a survivalist experience where we've had an inconsistent upbringing. Um, maybe there was a lack of money or scarcity. Um, and what that will cause is different ways of coping with stress. Um, a couple other things are society and culture. So um, depending on our culture, we may have different views about money. So if you were maybe potentially, let's say, raised um, in one religion or um, in one area of the country. Um, you may be celebrating holidays or experiences in one way versus another. And the last thing really is media. So I think with the uh, insurgence of social media and television media, um, that has a big influence on what is expected of us. Now, Leslie, communication is key in any relationship when it comes to forming a communication strategy with our partners. What do you recommend? Well, of course, um, recognize that your partner is different than you. Um, developing a communication strategy is important. Figure out who handles uh, which purchases. Also talk about when's a good time to talk about things. You know, I am a morning person. My husband is a night person. Um, so if he, we're gonna talk about a big financial decision, he knows not to come at me uh, with that at 10 o'clock at night, cause it's not a good time to, right. <laughs> talk about that. you know, we're gonna talk about something like that, maybe over lunch right? Um, or not at a busy time of the day. Um, working out strategies for large purchases is always a good idea. So some couples or partners will set a benchmark, you know, and every, for every couple that's different, you know, is $50 a big purchase, is $5,000 a big purchase. It depends on your, um, your income and, and your relationship. Also, um, children, uh, responsibility and budgeting is always good to talk about early, but every uh, partnership, uh, handles children differently and their expectations, but it's, you have to talk about it and figure out what you want to do and is right for you. Now we're almost out of time for today, but Leslie, do you have any final advice for us um, when it comes to our money spending habits? So the very best piece of advice I can offer is to pull your credit report, not just your credit score. Most people know what their credit score is, but actually pull your credit report um, you might have erroneous um, charges on your credit report or um, something that could be amiss that's easily fixed, but pull your credit report at least once a year. And you can do that at annualcreditreport.com. All right, Leslie, thank you so much for being with us today. And if anyone has any questions, I know that we have some great resources through Extension. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Contact your local family and consumer sciences extension agent at your local extension office, and they'll be glad to help you. All right, Leslie, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.